Livestream Studio is a multi-cam software switcher, which means you can connect several cameras to produce a live production by switching angles in real time. Today we will be using our Live Studio HD for this demo. Please check the links below for more information of this workstation. In this tutorial, we will be going through the first steps on how to set up the project settings and also to connect and set up your camera to the workstation. First, let's launch the Livestream Studio software. Remember to update the software to the latest version whenever there's a new release from Livestream. In the top right corner of Livestream Studio, you will see a small gear wheel button. Click on it to access the settings. Select the Project Format tab to access the wide variety of HD broadcast quality formats. This defines the project format for the entire production. There are additional options for broadcast standard. Low definition mode includes 480p formats and lower. These should be selected when using low performance computers and laptops. Select the format you desire. It's best practice for all of your video input sources to match this format. What this means is that if you have several cameras, all the settings on each camera has to be the same. Output format will also match this selection. Next, select either mono or stereo audio operation. Click Save on the right to exit the setting menu. Let's look at the physical setup of the cameras to the workstation. On the back of the Live Studio HD, you will see these 8 ports. These are mini BNC or sometimes known as mini SDI or mini DIN ports. A cable adapter is included to allow standard BNC or SDI cables to be connected to the mini BNC port on the workstation. For the video sources, you can use any type of wired cameras including USB webcams, cameras with HDMI outputs, and of course, professional video cameras with SDI outputs. Today, we'll be using a Panasonic UX90. This camera outputs using HDMI, so we will be using a Blackmagic Design Converter to convert the HDMI from the camera into an SDI signal for the workstation. Configure your resolution to be the same as the project format. The video feed should appear in the multi-view. The next step is to check if the feed is converted. Click on the gear wheel settings on the respective camera source. Click on the convert tab. You will see if there is any conversion being applied. If the camera resolution is not the same as the project format, the software will perform an automatic resolution conversion according to the project format. Take note that you will be using more CPU power to perform a conversion. Check your CPU usage on the top right of the software. Let's move on to configure input sources. This helps to manage your input sources for your streaming. On live stream settings, click on input tab. Use the plus button to add an input and minus button to remove unused inputs to avoid clutter on the main screen. To configure the input source, click on source. Select the source on the drop-down menu. You can change the display names of each source. To do so, click on source's name and edit accordingly. When you're done, click save on the upper right corner. You will now be able to see your source on the main screen. That's it for setting up your live studio. In the next tutorial, we will show you the basics of switching and adding transitions.